Hi, it's Angelina from Sparkling Diva with the uh, third part, the last part of the soul, uh, sorry, the twin flame uh, reading I've done earlier on. And um, I did uh, two different readings. You could pick a card, uh, pick a reading basically. Uh, but I also have a message, a more general message with Rose for uh, regardless of you've done the, the, the readings but also if you chose reading one or two you can still watch this third one because this is basically just a positive message uh, I've done that especially for people <coughs> sorry who are currently uh, in pain because of the separation maybe feeling a bit down or sad or desperate so this is just positive messages as to um, what you can do to make yourself feel a little bit better uplifting things and well as you can see quite a lot of cards came out so let's have a look um, what we have here is a lot of possible uh, possible sorry <laughs> positive things I must slow myself down a little bit <laughs> to get into the reading. Um, this is the, in uh, Default Tarot, the, uh, the Standing Stone um, Justice. I always have to think. <laughs> uh, but it came out reversed, which is... Um, yeah, it happens more often in these readings that I've been doing the last few days. I don't typically do reversal. <laughs> So none of the, my cards are ever reversed in my tarot decks. But this came out reversed and I stuck with it because then I suppose it is important. Um, and, and the Queen of Cups is... Um, uh, well, she, she's open in a hard... Um, hard uh, yeah, she's basically mastered most... Uh, of the things that come with feelings, emotions, relationship, love, and she's intuitive, open, sensitive, creative, and all these things that come with uh, the cups suit. Um, but I think for this reading, uh, what felt important to me is that the um, the greatest vulnerability of the Queen of Cups is that because she is so sensitive and uh, can pick up feelings of other people that it is very easy for her to lose herself and uh, well I can relate to that for sure because I can also I also easily pick up emotions and feelings from places people situations and and if you don't have healthy boundaries, then it's very easy to just lose yourself in, in well, just lose yourself in other people's feelings or whatever is going on. So that is very important to make sure that you have healthy boundaries, that you uh, uh, don't lose yourself. And also, this woman is, uh, because she is so expressive in and creative and emotional it might be very healing to do something with that to if if you're going through difficult times then maybe endeavor in uh, some creative hobby, hobbies or maybe you like music maybe you like painting or gardening um, it doesn't really matter anything you would like to do Maybe it could also just be singing and dancing, you know, just putting on some uh, music that you like and dancing to the music and singing along and it's also expressing yourself. And as for the justice, um, yeah, I, 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 I um, printed a piece that uh, came to me. Um, uh, it, it basically, it's very important that you also um, reversed. This is um, can mean dishonesty to yourself and others. 
and an unwillingness to understand the deeper meaning of why something has happened and um and 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 then it can be that well then you miss out on an opportunity to uh come to greater understanding of yourself in life when you're not being honest to yourself um um it's about accepting really accepting responsibility for your actions and um yeah if if you're in separation also look at your part of the story what went down and and it doesn't mean to say that you have to blame yourself but just look at your uh your own things your own part in that you you know because you always have your uh, responsibility the things you've done or said or whatever in that as well and take responsibility for that and after you've done that then um, you can also come to um, the realization that you you've done your best whether it worked out or not it, you've done your best and then it's easier to accept that uh, you are now in separation and uh, that this is divinely orchestrated so that at the moment this is the best for you and the other person because everything is always in divine order but you cannot come to that understanding if you are still holding on to uh, blame or maybe fibbing to yourself uh, about the entire situation uh, you need to be honest to yourself as well and look at your part of what went down take responsibility for that and then you can come to understanding that uh, yeah, the bigger picture of everything and, um, and, and th it will become easier than to accept this situation even though it might be painful even though it might be frustrating and to help make that easier um, then be like the queen of cups uh, express yourself to be creative and be very mindful of your boundaries that you don't lose yourself in someone else nor in this situation possibly especially in this situation in the separation with your twin flame don't lose yourself in that don't lose yourself in that and, and so also stay connected to your heart to your the, the love that you have in, inside of you because if you you are the queen of chalices you have an awful lot of love and you are able to give that and to receive that and uh, yeah this is a wonderful card but don't lose yourself stay true to yourself as well Right, and then well, let's have a quick look at the other cards peace and uh, yeah I think that speaks for itself it's just a really nice tranquil uh, field with this egg and this dove above it and the egg well yeah new life new things maybe it will indeed help you to find things you enjoy in life like this uh, the, the creative expressions things you you just like to do and uh, pleasure joy strength if you find joy and pleasure in life again that will help you to to get um, stronger and to get to, to have the strength to deal with this separation because it can be really tough it can be absolutely hard to deal with it but if you find still are able to have uh, joy enjoy life and things in life and have enjoy you know have pleasure in things then it will become easier and it's easier to tap into your strength your inner strength to deal with this situation and then, well, I had planned to do one angel heart love card, but four came out. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, well, 
so I decided to just stick with it. Uh, I'll read the messages for you. Uh, this is Angel uh, Dana, uh, Daniel. I send you a blessing for this relationship as you take it to the next level. So that's very positive. The next level doesn't mean to say that you're going to be uh, connecting really soon or coming into union, I mean, in, a, in the physical really soon. But taking it to the next level doesn't, you know, it, it, it's different interpretations of that as well. If you find more joy and pleasure in life, um, energetically, that will have an effect on your twin flame connection. That will uh, positively affect it. Because you are connected energetically. Uh, even if you aren't in the physical. Cassiel, sit beside me in solitude to find comfort and peace. So again, peace. Relax and enjoy and experience peace. Again, that will positively affect your connection with your twin flame. Uh, so the, the basically this is a message to stop worrying, stop fretting, stop uh, stressing, cut out the anxiety take a break from all that. Uh, Oriel, this is your destiny. Let me help you accept it. So, um, well, with the, uh, what came up with the uh, reverse uh, standing stone, uh, justice, <laughs> uh, it also spoke of being able to see the bigger picture and uh, also hang about realizing, <coughs> knowing, feeling that the universe first has a path laid out for you and that that is the right path for you even though it might frustrate you and hurt you, upset you and whatever this is your destiny and you have to try and accept it and that will make it easier, you know, because sometimes you have to go off on your own for a bit and do your own thing and that will, in the end, help your uh, twin flame connection. Because stress and anxiety is not going to help you, it's not going to do you any good either, because it won't get you to what you came here to do this life. And you do have a destiny, you do have a goal to fulfill. So, okay, and then the last one, Haniel, I think you are beautiful. Love yourself. Well, I think that is a wonderful card to end this reading with. I think you are beautiful. Love yourself. So, I hope this uh, brings you a bit of a light in desperate, frustrating times, maybe. Know that you are on the right path. Express yourself. Do things that bring you joy and pleasure. So, because that helps you to uh, deal with this situation. And just love yourself. Love yourself to bits. Right. Um, uh, I'm going to finish that. Uh, please leave me some feedback. I would really appreciate that. And I'm wishing you a lot of love and love and light. Bye bye.